Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hi, I'm Tim Van Orden and this is the Running Raw Project. Today I want to answer another smoothie question. Many of you have noticed that I don't put the stems of my greens in my smoothies. I tear the leaf off of the stem of kale, collard, and chard and just put the leaf in and leave the stem in the garden to compost. Why do I do that? I like to keep my smoothie blend cycle to 20 seconds or less. And even in a blend tech, in 20 seconds, those stems are still kind of stringy and fibrous and they end up like big globs of knotted hair in my mouth and it's not pleasant. Why do I keep my blend cycles to 20 seconds or less? Because the longer you blend, the more nutrients you destroy. Yes, in a blender you will destroy some nutrients. You will create oxidation. That does happen. But if you're using a lot of antioxidant rich fruits and vegetables, greens, berries and whatnot, you are definitely dealing with most of the oxidation, but the longer that you blend, the more oxidation that occurs and you're going to use up more of those antioxidants just fighting off the oxidation occurring in the blender. So there's less available for you. Also, the longer that you blend, the more likely you are to destroy the fragile nutrients in those plants. Some vitamins, some phytochemicals are very fragile and a little bit of heat or a little too much agitation will disable them. So I keep my blend cycle to 20 seconds. It's not totally purified, but that's okay because it reminds me to chew my smoothie. So my smoothies are a little bit chunky. Not chunky chunky, but a little bit chunky. So technically, I'm not really drinking smoothies. I'm drinking green chunkies. Ooh, maybe I'm gonna make a green chunky video. What do you think, yeah? <laughs> so if your smoothies are coming out of the blender like smooth silk, chances are that you've degraded a lot of the fragile nutrients and also you've used up a lot of the antioxidants in those greens and fruits and there's less available for you. So best way to get your full nutrition out of a smoothie keep the blend cycle as short as possible and if that means a little bit of chunkiness well you're just gonna have to chew some more yo right? Alright peace out see ya.